the thief of joy, they say, yeah, of course, but then one day I really think about all the joy stolen from me in a tally, all lined up, notches, plain to see. I count so much joy transformed into something sad, beautiful memories, food, bad, whether ifs and buts, and wondering if I was there and how would I look? If I, if I felt different, how would life be? If I had more things that went wrong to me. I have compared everything. My skin, my hair, the way I fuck, eyes too small, lips too thin, wished I went to uni, had a different family, never quite found a style right for me. My home interior, boyfriends I love, the way my kids behave, the way even my words form on this page. I have compared everything. Someone else's lifestyle seen only to a screen. They're perfectly perfect morning and nighttime routine. Pieces of art I wish I had made. Hairs on my toes and other body parts. The way I talk and how my fingers look in rings. The way my brain works and the dark things that I think. The way I dance and the way my body feels. Even the journey of how to heal. I have compared everything. Things that should be joyous, like learning a new hobby. But when I learn to stay and surf and swim from pool, even when I learn a whole new language on my own, it wasn't good enough. Because someone always knew more. Comparing myself whilst in the unknown, at the beginning of something vulnerable, and all the things that should have been celebrated as a win, I saw as embarrassing. Even standing on this stage, thinking of whether you'll get entertained. Not feeling proud of what I've gained, but wondering how to better my claim for validity and the right to be here and just exist. Blinding myself in the process of all the joy that lives. Not understanding, no one is more valid in taking up space. We all have equal shares in this place. I think of all the joy taken from me, not aggressively. I gave it willingly. I imagine each moment carried off by a tiny thief. I make myself a deal. From now, I'll try my best to let it be. See how the light dances on the trees. Feel this moment, let it soak in my skin. See its blossom bloom, brim. Feel proud of what lies within. Lessons learned can be a radical act. Self-compassion often something learned last. But we're not aiming for perfection, just growing, not in straight lines, but finding ways to lean towards the light. In a world that values profit over people and lives, that tries to convince us that we need to do, be, buy all these things to make us feel more acceptable just in living our life. How you talk to yourself is more than just self-care. It's a revolution that only you can begin. But give yourself permission to not always get it right. The fight that starts now, it starts deep inside. Normalize nourishing yourself in a multitude of ways. Remember that it's not you that's the problem, but the arbitrary rule that society has made. If you notice yourself being taught lessons and seeing the joy that lives in and around you, take it with both hands, roll it up, take a bite, run it through your hair, push it deep inside, feel how wonderful life feels, like raindrops on your skin, shiny silver trails, note the light, how it flows, note that you only get one go. The things that live inside you all hug and glow. Place your hand on your heart. Close your eyes, remind yourself that you're good inside. Now feel your life with this in mind.